Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, illustrious host, Kadeebe. Um, <laughs> you know, I was talking the other day, and we were talking about some of the things that are allowed in school. And um all black schools, all black teachers. And let me say this. The first school that I went to in my life um, was an all-black public school. And if it had some white kids in there, there was very minimum. There probably was some white kids, but it was very minimum because the majority of the children there were black. Um, after the school closed, is when um, we went over to the white school, okay? So this is like the early 60s. And um, people were saying, you know, about teachers. Of course, we had black teachers. All my, my teachers early in my uh, life were black. And, well, I should say was black because I, I had one before I was transferred to this new school, which was I was introduced to other kids, okay? Now, but what I can tell you, which is totally insane, is I was talking with my brother, and, you know, we were talking about the things that the teachers would get away with back in the day. Now, all my, since my, our teachers were black, there may have been a few speckles, sprinkles of White teachers, like I said, again, I was too small to remember. But what was crazy is that I remember looking out of the window in the classroom and watching my brother go to the store, um, which was Cata Corner across the street from the school. So if... And this brother, this particular brother is three years older than I. So if I was in kindergarten, he was probably in third grade. And being in kindergarten, you know, you, our activities were such that, you know, we could look out the window or when you go and exchange some papers or do whatever, you could look out of the window and Basically, that's what I found myself doing. I remember my brother had a black teacher. I remember Miss Wilson was one of his teachers. And I remember her because she had a real, real deep accent. So obviously, she must have been from Mississippi or something. But she had a real, real deep accent. And it seemed to be Southern. Um, but again, I was very small. And what a lot of y'all don't realize that how much power the teachers had back then. Um, we didn't act up the way these kids do today. And I'm not saying everything was right about... Matter of fact, I'm saying a lot was wrong is what I'm saying. I ain't going to say a lot of shit was right. I'm going to say a lot was wrong with what these people did. So one of the things I can talk about that they did, which was crazy, again, was sending us to the store. How are you going to send other people's kids to the store and go buy shit? What if my brother had got hit by a car? And then to add insult to injury, my brother was telling me how when he went and he had all these orders, when he came back and he had the wrong stuff, and the teacher paddled him. It was all black teachers. I just want y'all to understand. This is what they could do to us. They would send us to the store. They could do whatever they want to because they were the teachers. And they were pretty much basically your parents. The teachers could paddle you. In fact, um, if your behavior warranted it, they would beat your ass. Okay. And you would hope that they sent the note home to your mom telling them what happened today. You had a bad day. I mean, you would hope that they wouldn't. So your mother would beat your butt again. There's a lot of beatings going on back then for all this work. Well, you got a lot of people that was able to conform and 
told a line in the way that society wanted them to, but you got a lot of people that was angry too because they we had a lot of suppressed emotion because these people that were in authority positions were just die, downright psychopathic. And I want to talk about people being in control and being psychopathic and you or I having to be um, under their subjugation or under their rule. That is one of the hardest things to deal with is when you're dealing with under the leadership of psychotic individuals. So I'm saying this to say the school system has changed dramatically. There is some power that needs to go back into these educators' hands because um, while I talk about my stories that happened young in school, I have a lot of friends who work in the public school system, either as teachers, um, securities, um, counselors. So I understand what they go through. And I think one of the worst things that happened was one of one of um, the school security got beat up by a student for no apparent reason. The student had a bad day. He jumped on him because he told him something about taking off his hat. And unsus he was unsuspected. And the young man just beat him to a pulp. He hit him with something and then it was, and it was just on. He went to the hospital. He was in a coma for a few days and he died. This was in high school. Washington, I believe it was Washington High School here in Milwaukee. So I'm saying this to say we have to start thinking about educating our children and making, or if you're not in a position to, make sure they're educated appropriately. And the only way you can do that is if you're educated appropriately. Even if you and that if you even care, you have to start caring about what your kid is learning, caring about education, and then seeing how you can meet the rubber at the road. Okay. Um, I don't think teachers should be able to send your kids to the store so they can go buy junk and stuff while they're you know, in the classroom. That stuff is a no-no. I don't think that... Um, but it takes one generation to turn this stuff around. Let me say that first of all. So we have to start by putting some more kind of power back and respect back into the hands of the teacher. Now, how we implement that just right now, I don't know. But I know that it's a necessary component to do if we suppose to move forward into the next century. Because you can't go on like this. You can't have students beating up the people that are supposed to be giving them, teaching them, helping them to be educated. That that can't work. Okay? And you can't have crazy parents running up to the schools so out of control that when their child says something, because they're so unemotionally developed, that they want to jump on a teacher. They can't even have a civil conversation with the teacher away from the child. They don't have enough emotional self-control and social skills to even do that. So that's a problem. But we got to work on that, family. Got to work on it. Okay? So, with that being said, if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. I'm going to be back with another video. Happy New Year to my family. I love y'all, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.